Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring in this um, asparagus. I absolutely love asparagus, it's going to be great fun colouring this, it's going to make me feel really hungry I think. But anyway, I'm going to crack on. Now I'm going to do the main stem part first. I've picked out this um, grass green from my polychromos. I'm not sure if it's quite the right colour, but I'm just going to go for it and it can just act as a sort of base. And I think I may need to mix it with something else as well. Um, the, um, the bits poking off of the um, stem, they're slightly lighter in colour. So I'm going to leave those for now. And the top parts, they vary a little as well. So I'm going to leave those as well. I'm just going to concentrate on getting this stem done. Now I feel that is a little bit too bright. I'm going to go over the top with my May Green, which I think will just bring it to being the colour that I want. I'm using an up and down movement for this because asparagus does tend to have, um, this tend to be, the pieces are in this direction, I can't work out what I'm trying to say. If you um, break it, it splits downwards, so the, that's the way it sort of has a liney look, but not really, but it would it looks better um, than doing it that way. Um, now I'm trying to think about where to go next. Um, I know what I'm going to do next. Now the tips of the asparagus pieces and these little tips have a slightly purpley pinkish colour to them and I'm just going to grab that colour that I think I'm going to use the Caput Mortem Violet for that. Now we really want just a little tiniest bit on these on the tip, just the tiniest bit it's quite difficult to just get a teeny weeny bit with my heavy hand. And then on the tops, there's more on the top parts than there is on the lower parts. It's still only on the tips really. And so just a little bit more on these and then reduce it as we go down the plant like that. Now we can add our greens in. Um, because we only want these little pieces to be very light, I'm just going to use the May Green and I'm going to use it lightly. So I'm going to use it harder on top of the purple and then fade it down towards the bottom. And the same on this one. Mmm, I sure I must buy some asparagus. It's so delicious. I know some people really dislike it. Um, I'm going to do the same with these. So darker at the top and then fade it towards the bottom. That's how they look. Yeah, my one of my sons really hates it and the other one really likes it. But I, last time I went shopping, I don't shop every... Um, I shop once a week, my husband shops once a week because at the moment only one adult is allowed in the supermarket and he goes on Sunday with the car, does a big shop and on a Wednesday I pop in and top up the shopping and get things for the lunch boxes that have run out and things like that because you can't buy, the children like rolls, you can't buy them too far in advance because they, they haven't got a date. I know some people freeze them but they just don't go quite dry and hard so uh, I try to buy them fresh and uh, when I pop in I can get some of this. Now I want to darken up a few areas. I'm going to grab this chromium green opaque. I seem to be using this a lot on this page. In between all of these little bit little spikes, I don't know, there'll be some shadow and I just want to emphasise that by going over Johanna's black lines with this green. Because it's a little bit thicker than the lines, it adds a little bit of shadow into the picture. 
like that it just gives it you can see the difference between this one and this one and I hope you hopefully you think it's an improvement yes yeah, so when I next go shopping I shall buy some asparagus hopefully I like to buy it when it UK we we do import it but I like to buy the UK one when that comes into season okay now what I'm gonna do these stalks look quite flat so I'm gonna use this green I'm gonna go down the edge here and then just bring the color in just slightly lightly and that side and the same here try to give the um, it more of a three-dimensional feel and also the stalks are often darker at the top and lighter towards the bottom so I'm just going to add a little bit of dark colour just to touch and then a bit of shadow underneath each of these little bits it's sunny and raining at the moment I wonder if there's a rainbow now I'm going to do the same on this side. So we've done in between. We can go along the sides here, and just bring it in a little, a little bit under there. Just adding in where there would be a little bit of shadow, and it just gives us a slightly more rounded feel to the stem. As I say, a little bit more dark at the top compared to the bottom. And I'm going to grab my May Green again. Whoops, there it is. You see, this one's got a barcode on, it's really good. It means shops don't have to put stickers. So if you buy these open stock from a shop or online, you don't get a sticker on it. What I loathe is when you get a pencil with a sticker on. Ugh. And then you have to sharpen it and that sticker gets in the way or you take the sticker off and um, it um, it leaves a nasty sticky patch on the pencil Ugh. yuck right I think we're done with our asparagus mmm yum I am now really in the mood for eating some asparagus you've probably gathered that but uh, maybe you are too a bit healthier than the cakes but mmm I don't know which I'd rather have. I'm sure you do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.